Hello, and welcome to the University of Southern California's Institute for Creative Technologies. I'm Paul Debevic, and since the year 2000, I've been working with the Graphics Laboratory to try to create new technology for digitizing the real world and bringing it into the virtual world as photorealistic computer graphics models that we can then interact with and use for training and education and entertainment. We're now in the light stage scanning room, and the main piece of equipment here is Light Stage X. Uh, this is the device that is about the tenth version of the technology uh, that we use for a variety of purposes, but most commonly to scan very high resolution three dimensional models of people's faces. And the device consists of 346 custom light sources. And what this allows us to do is get very detailed photographic reflectance reference of what a person's face looks like lit from every direction that light can come from. So, and now we're filming from exactly where our actor, uh, you can imagine Tom Cruise or Angelina Jolie would be sitting as we do the facial scans. Here we go, and three, two, one. So that's what it's like when we run the lights for the high resolution facial scanning. It uses the white LEDs behind the different polarizers. Uh, another process we can do in the light stage is to use the color LEDs to reproduce the light of other environments. You should be able to see the sky and the sun and the sand from the beach where this was actually recorded. Let's switch to another environment. So here, the light's more yellowish, and this was recorded inside the Los Angeles County um, Museum of Art's outdoor sculpture called Urban Light by Chris Burden. And I'm standing inside a device that we call our mobile light stage, uh, also known as the presidential scanner, because we built this system in order to take it to the White House in the summer of 2014 and scan President Obama for the first ever three-dimensional presidential portrait. A uh, really interesting project that we did with Digital Domain achieved one of the first photoreal digital actors in motion picture history, which was the old version of Brad Pitt uh, from The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And Avatar was the first film where we applied our high-resolution facial scanning technique that you'll see today using polarized gradient illumination. And this allowed us to uh, help Weta Digital create the blue Navi versions of most of the principal cast, as well as some photoreal digital stunt doubles. We're now standing inside the ICT Graphics Laboratory's Light Stage 6 system. And it's the one that we built to be big enough to digitize the entire human body. Light Stage 6 has a thousand individually controllable lights with six LEDs each and over a hundred different video cameras to film people from all possible directions to create a computer generated version of them that looks right from any point of view. So the stages can, we can dial up any different lighting pattern. Um, the way lighting be from different directions, we can capture uh, the reflectance field, analyze the materials and the skin. What does this lighting pattern do? This one just looks pretty cool. All right. 